Hi, we're Chris and Betsy. And together we're As We Go, and today we invite you to join us as we go and do a little uh, time traveling. That's right, we're going to travel through time as we take in Dickens on the Strand in Galveston. Come on along. So one of the very first things you're going to notice about Dickens on the Strand will be all the people dressed up in costume. And that's for a very good reason. Because if you dress in a costume, you get in half price. And for the most part, folks are looking pretty authentic. But you will see those who are... Uh, oh, you're going to see some things that border more on being fantasy. There's pirates and a diverse mix. We're toying with the idea of doing costumes ourselves next year if we're here for Dickens. Of course, the big challenge is going to be where do you stow that stuff on an RV? So in addition to the costumes, you'll see bikers, you'll see pipers. You'll see vendors of all kinds, as well as folks doing demonstrations like the blacksmithing and telegraphy. You can even buy your own wardrobe there if you want. And of course, there's corn dogs. Are those Victorian? One of our big fun things we like to catch is the Gilbert and Sullivan Society of Houston. And there are pipers of all ages, not just the fellows from Houston, but these young guys as well. It's neat to see this carrying on. Fife and drum. And a little heavy metal. Everywhere you looked, there were costumes, there were performers, and there were demonstrations. But I think these guys were our favorite, the Victorian Fencing Society. Uh, in modern fencing, it's a game. Uh, it is something where you're trying to score a point. Uh, in the 19th century, fencing was still a martial art where you were trying to not get killed. All right. Lunge, make the touch. When uh, Kim gets touched, she's gonna say, Touche, so there's that word. If you do your uh, uh, crossword puzzles, um, but Kim doesn't want to get hit. So this time when Doug does his lunge, she's gonna block it. Just block, but don't repose. There you go. The block is called the parry. Once she's made the parry, she's going to do a, what's called the repost and try and hit him. The other part of the honor of fencing is the salute. So they're gonna do the foil salute. Nice, and the audience. They did demonstrations with the fencing foil, which is used more for training because it's lightweight. And then the dueling foil, which is a heavier one that would have been used for the actual duels. If you drew first blood, you won the duel. And they demonstrated sabers. And Bowie Knives. Alec. And even using the foil and dagger. 
they explained that the dagger in this was used more as a defensive instrument to, a defensive weapon to parry blows from the foil. And they did something called a single stick, which was used in like county fairs and naval training. Stand up, folks. Flag and what would the Dickens on the Strand be without the Queen's Parade? This is just a short version of the parade. There's some outtakes from it. If you want to see a longer version and more of Dickens on the Strand, check out our uh, Dickens on the Strand 2018 video. down to the Alyssa. She was also available to tour during the festival for free. After all, she was built in 1877. And it was cool that we got to see some of the crew members in costume and up in the rigging, or in this case, coming down the rigging. We hope you enjoyed this peek, and uh, we're going to close out with uh, the heroes of the parade. Let's hear it for the Pope Patrol! Why are they, <laughs> Why are they being cheered? Oh, thanks! <laughs> One legitimate reason for a parade to get slowed down. And these guys are really glad! Yeah, aren't they cute? Hey, we sure hope you enjoyed this uh, little glimpse at Dickens on the Strand in 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, give yourself a Christmas gift and subscribe to our channel. Again, thanks for watching and who knows, as we go, maybe someday we'll see you on the road. Safe travels to ya!